Welcome to Cisco Training Videos. My name is Trevor. This video is part of my Intro to Firewall Training Series, and the topic we're going to cover is the question mark command. Let's begin. I'm sure many of you watching this right now have already obtained your CCNAs, been exposed to the Cisco IOS before, and are familiar with the question mark feature. If you're not though, pay attention! The question mark feature is an amazing command help option that Cisco wrote into their IOS, and this feature can save you if you ever get stuck because you forgot the correct syntax for a specific command, or if you need help navigating through the sub-options of a command, or if you just plain old want to mess around and learn some new configurations. So as you can see on the screen, I have a couple of VPN show commands. So whenever you type a question mark after a command you've typed, it's going to give you a list of available commands depending on where you are in that iOS or what you have typed before the question mark. If you were to type the question mark from the privileged exec mode without typing anything else before it though, it'll show you every single potential keyword that you could issue. Here's an example. Question mark, and you can see every single command. Here's another example. Let's say from privileged exec mode, you issued the command show, space, and then question mark. That's going to show you every possible show command that you can issue from privileged exec mode. All of this output are different keywords that can be issued after show. This output also displays a brief description of what each command does. Here's another example. Let's say you were getting attacked by an IP address and you wanted to block it, but you didn't want to add an access list. You knew there was some type of command you could issue, but you couldn't remember. You knew it started with an S though, so you could just type S and then question mark. So it looks like there's only four commands that can be issued from privileged exec mode that start with S. And as you can see, shun is actually what we're looking for. So there's your little reminder. The question mark can kind of help walk you through the correct syntax in order to issue commands. So if we issued a question mark here again, then it'll tell us, oh, I need a host name or I need an IP address. So then we could put 1.1.1.1. Here's one last practical example. Let's say you wanted to write an access list, but you couldn't quite remember the syntax. You could just question mark and figure out what is next. Extended. Question mark again, and it's showing, oh, permit or deny. So this will help you, this will help walk you through the syntax in order to build your access list. Well, I hope this quick video has been helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below.